A year ago, I put an electric motor in my 1600 pound Japanese K-Van. I documented the entire process, but most of that went to waste because of one faulty part. This is Project Acti, the Tesla battery powered Honda Acti K-Van. The van has five batteries out of a Tesla Model S and a three phase AC50 50, 50 kilowatt motor made it to the stock five speed transmission, putting power to the wheels currently in rear wheel drive. This has been the toughest project I've ever done, and spoiler alert, uh, it works. Um, but it's, with any project, it's always three times the budget and 10 times the time that it takes uh, to complete something. But, you know, that does not, that should not scare you away from starting a project. The things that I've learned have been super invaluable. Um, obviously, I've paid for them with my money and my time um, but they're all things that i'm gonna be using in future projects and even if i don't it's just awesome to be able to complete something um, as big as this so that's all i have to say about that one thing i've learned is that the van is louder now that it's electric there's so much road noise and there's so many little squeaks and beep, beep, beep. Jeez Louise. Bruh, the van feels good. It's quick. I just, I only use it in fourth gear. Um, fourth gear in reverse is all you need. The gears are so short. Third gear, you can only get up to like 15 miles an hour, so. Um, not really, but like you can maybe get up to like 30 miles an hour in third gear. So fourth gear, I've gotten it up to roughly about 60. I don't even know what you could get to if you went uh, further, but um, yeah, it's exciting. So back to the project. What happened? Uh, basically, I recorded the entire process of converting the van, tearing it apart, putting it back together, and the first few test drives, um, ironing out some of the kinks, and I was working on a really killer video to show all of that, and uh, my hard drive went kaput. I lost basically half of all of the footage of building the van, which was super heartbreaking. Um, at the same time, I also blew the transmission. Um, so there were some major roadblocks and setbacks, um, but I kept working on the van while I sent the hard drive off to get repaired um, and was told that it was irreparable and all of that footage um, is forever lost. But all is not lost because the van's still here and um, there's a lot to talk about. I still have a lot of things to do that I'm going to share with you, uh, the process um, things like replacing the headlights, um, greasing the pillow ball bushings in the front coilovers because those, those springs are binding. I need to add a fourth mounting point to the motor. I need to clean up the wiring. I need to add a roof rack, um, potentially paint the van, add a speedometer. Um, and those are just some of the things that we need to do to get this van finished. Um, and I'm excited to share some of that process with you as well as start gearing up for uh, what happens next. Um, so I'm gonna start making more videos, a little more DIY off the cuff. Hopefully that uh, allows me to make more content quicker. Um, so thanks for hanging around. See you next time.